positive territory. Let's discuss the proposal for a 1% or 2% debt or deficit tax, a tax on top of your income tax, which has been proposed. Is that the best way to bring down Australia's debt and deficit? Well, look, it's, that's a subject for the, an issue for the government to decide. We've recommended a course of action which doesn't take into account uh, a tax of that nature and assumes that taxation levels will return to normal once the economy recovers a bit more, touch wood. Touch wood, I should really stress that. Um, but what's your view? If, if, what would well, be I, the effect of well, such a deficit Well, I think there's two, there's, two issues. there's two issues there. One is to get back to surplus more quickly is an advantage. We save the interest cost and it means we're in a more secure position earlier. The other side of it, though, is what is the impact on confidence, consumer and business. Um, I would certainly say, and it's not something that we looked at in the Commission, but I'd say that if they were to bring in something like that, they'd need to be very careful about implementing any of our recommendations which have an immediate impact on the, on the individual. So things like family tax benefit B and that sort of thing, I think you wouldn't want to run that in parallel with a debt tax or levy or whatever you want Why to call not? it. Because that might be just too much of a shock for the system. So you're basically saying it's one or the other? Oh, I, I would recommend that. Uh, again, I haven't done a deep study on, on either at the moment or on, on, the, on the debt tax, debt levy or what level it's going to be and on who it's going to impact. I'd say have a good look at that because you wouldn't want to overcorrect at the present time. Uh, putting aside the possible political ramifications of such a measure given the government did before the election promise not to introduce any new taxes, what effect do you think such a tax would have on the broader economy? Well, look, um, well, the first thing I'd say is the government, you know, whatever promises they did make, one of the big promises they did make, and I think the basis, probably the basis on which they were elected, was they would return the budget to surplus. So I think that is a worthy goal and certainly one that the Australian community voted for, and that may overwhelm anything else that they've promised to do or not do. So that's the first thing I'd say, but I would... A bit of a core and non-core promise. Well, it's just, I mean, to return to surplus, you're going to have to do something. You can't do nothing. You have to either increase taxes. You've got two levers to pull. You reduce expenditure or you increase revenue or you do a mix of both. You can't do nothing. <laughs>